This is an informal video where I'm going to show it how to create a VTS Expert Advisor uh, with a stop mechanism that moves based on profit. So I'm going to do this on a QS system. So I'll choose New Quick Start System and I'm going to give it a name that kind of makes sense. Move Stop Example. I'll say OK. And I'm going to do this on a function, its own function. So I'm going to create a new function drawing just by dragging that and I give this a name FN move stop. So that's our function that's going to do all the work. So first let me remove those elements and I add a couple of new ones. I'm going to create a variable called level 1 and this is going to be used to set the first level for moving the stop. It's going to be an extern variable which will make it available from the input parameter of the EA. And I'll set it to a default value of 15, but again you'll be able to change that. And I create another variable called stop1. And this is also an extern. And this is what it'll actually change the value to. So when your target profit level hits level 1, the trailing stop where the stop will be changed to this level, which would be 20. Okay, so now we've got the variable elements. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use the VTS function fn get open order info. And if you look at the help for this, you pass in a type parameter to get the information you're looking for. And we want to get the profit, so we're going to set the type parameter to 5 there. Okay, I set that to 5. I want to give this a good name. I think I'll just call it my profit. And that's going to give us the profit of our open position on every tick. Uh, and since I'm here, I'm going to grab the fn step set stop loss function because we'll be using that as well. Now I'm going to create a new logic element. I'm not going to fill it out yet. I just want to give it a good name and save it. I'm going to call it is in level 1. And when that's true, that means that the profit level will be above level 1 and we would want to change the stop loss. So I'll create a couple of end elements, end true and end false. And now I'm going to connect everything. Uh, notice that the logic element is red and that's because it hasn't been completely configured. So now I'm going to go ahead and build and, and make sure I don't have any problems yet. So it built successfully. That's good. And now what I want to do is go over onto the main drawing and add our new function into the FN or the QS open by logic function so that it gets actually called on each tick. So I go into my functions, I find our new function called fn move stop, and I drag it out and just put it after the start of really any of the QS functions. In this case, I'm picking the QS open by logic. So our function will get called on every tick now. And again, I'll just build to make sure that there aren't any major problems. There aren't. So let's go back and configure this. For the left operands, I want to choose the function variable my profit. So this represents the profit of your open trade. And when that gets greater than level 1, I'm going to go and select level 1. Remember that's that variable. I'm going to return true. And when we return true from here, we're going to go to the fn set stop loss function and I'm just going to pop in stop 1 as the parameter for that. So the way this logic runs is if your open profit value is greater than level 1, you're going to change the stop to stop 1. And that's how we do that. So that's a pretty simple example, and that'll happen on every tick. Now what I want to do, because we had a couple of requests for this, is show how you can add another level to this. So I'm just going to make the screen a little bigger, and I'm going to add two more variables very similar to the other ones. And I call them level 2 with a value of 30.
and I'm also going to create another stop variable and give it a value of 10. So the target levels are going up and the stop is going down. And that's usually what traders want to do with, with an open trade that's winning. Okay, so I'll connect these variables up here. make this look a little prettier it's a little easier to read okay so now I'm going to create another logic to handle these new variables and uh, it's going to be very similar to the first one except this time we're going to test uh, level 2 against the profit but first let me give it a good name in level 2 and we're gonna need another stop loss function so I'm just gonna pull off another FN set stop loss and drag that and now I'm gonna connect these so off of my profit I'm gonna also connect it to this new in level 2 logic and in level 2 the true goes to the set stop loss and the false just goes to the end and so let me just do a basic check here the build also saves all the elements on the pad so uh, that helps as well okay now I'm gonna set this uh, logical condition very similar to the other when my profit is greater than level 2 in this case and level 2 will be found under my variables under this system and that would be level 2 okay return true oh I need to put one more line in there there we go okay so and also I don't want to forget to set the stop to stop 2 and hit save and that's our basic logic. Now I'm going to add another condition here because I don't want the first condition to happen if we already have a greater profit. So what I'm going to say here is the top condition is my profit has to be greater than level one and the second condition is that the profit has to be less than level two so this will only execute when the profit is within that range and we need to do this because otherwise we'll keep on changing the stop loss back and forth if we don't have that condition in there so let me build this oops it failed oh I didn't name that variable level 2 I meant to name it level 2 so let me just do a save as here change that to level 2 save it build it okay so this system is available on the forum just as it's seen built right here and you guys can test it check it out I've run it a few times it seems to work good and uh, you could uh, put a post up on the forum and maybe we'll change it around a little bit I'm sure there's lots of ideas uh, of where we can go with this thanks bye